Hi, I am Krishna Kharnar, a postdoctoral scientist at Toronto Public Health Laboratory, Ontario Agency for Health Protection and Promotion, interested to apply for Canada Grand Challenges program. In low and middle income countries, there are staggering health inequities. Annually, millions of children die of disease which are preventable. Life expectancy is below an average of 40 years in parts of the developing world, while in Canada it is over 80 years. The situation in developing world needs urgent attention. Parasitic infections caused by intestinal protozoan and helminth parasites are among the most prevalent infection in children in developing countries. These infections are most prevalent in tropical and subtropical regions of the developing world where adequate water and sanitation facilities are lacking. In addition to the effects of an acute infection, protozoan diarrhea and intestinal geohelminth infections also impair physical growth and cognitive functions of children, thwart educational achievement and hinder economic development. In the pilot study, we are planning to evaluate a field-based rectal swab collection method, something like this, which should be used for transport transportation followed by DNA extraction and screening with multiplex uh, PCR platform for intestinal parasites. We trust that the collection and transportation of fecal samples in rectal swab may prove to be more convenient and efficient in comparison to a stool uh, collection in, uh, in this kind of stool collection vial for uh, transportation. This would uh, be a relatively big fecal collection container. Especially for genomic application, collecting stool sample in rectal swab would be much more helpful for field-based studies. There is tremendous untapped potential among our country's young scientists to solve some of the key health challenges in the developing world. This is a great opportunity for Canadian scientists who have the skill and the passion to innovate solutions to save lives and contribute to Canada's growing leadership role in global health. It's a great gesture from Canada to be the first country to use a grand challenges approach in foreign aid. Canadians have the research and technological edge to make a difference through integrated inno innovation, bring long-term uh, sustainable changes to these countries and their people. I have earned PhD from India and pa from past three years I have immigrated to Canada as a postdoctoral scientist at Public Health Laboratory. Having said that, I strongly feel that I can play an important role in bridging the two countries' intellectual scientific community. In this effort, we are also involving developing world medical scientists to participate in the proposed study. This collaboration between Canadian and developing world scientists will, have, will be having a great potential for uh, health solutions in developing world setup. I strongly feel that Canadian scientific community have a lot to offer intellectually and scientifically Canada Grand Challenges program is one of the unique and effective way to go for it. Thank you very much.